What's up, gamers? We're going to do a breakdown of the goaded, the legendary validation. Absolute smash hit. Uh, dropped it like six months ago. Already up to 200 plays. That's what I'm talking about. Let's run it up. An absolute hyper pop classic. Got the cosign from the legendary, handsome, talented Goldo. Run the clip. That was fire. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Anyway, let's hop into it. Let's uh, play a little snippet and we'll, we'll talk about it. I keep it all in. Wait for your validation. Call me again. Mm, yeah. I keep it all in. Wait for your validation to call me again. All right. In the beginning, obviously, got me and the guitar reverbed. Main vocals, Vox One. I run that into a normal bus, which has like my normal effects on it. And then I also have a auxiliary patch um, that has. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> as you can tell, a newbie patch. I would definitely recommend bouncing stuff so you don't dunk on your CPU. All right, whatever. But yeah, this is a uh, simple reverb. I have it automated, so it kicks in in the beginning. I keep it all in. And I think I actually have this send to reverb, and I also have this normal main mix. And you can see that these sendy sends mixing levels are automated. So I send some to the reverb and some to the normal, kind of figure out the, the right balance that I want, sort of a wet and dry bootleg. You know, you can also just have like a reverb effect and then dial in the effects there and then just boom, boom on the mix level. Anyway, then what I call the ear candy kicks in here with the left and right vocals. Little hmm. -hmm. And that's uh, those are harmonized. So I have one going, mm -hmm, and then the other going, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. I go super heavy on auto tune on the background vocals, by the way. Mm, yeah. That's left. Here's right. Uh, yeah. And I have uh, the volume, so it starts low and then goes high. Uh, yeah. I keep it all in. And, wait for you. and also when this kicks in, I got a uh, double of the high guitar. So I have it pitched up by 12 semitones and I have it on stretch so it doesn't stretch real uh, short. Because if you do resample, then it'll stretch it real short. Mm, yeah. I keep it all in and wait for your validation to call me again. Two times I couldn't waste it Always said I wouldn't say shit Spent a whole week in my basement Thinking that the love you gave me And threw it away So let's uh, break down this juicy, dummy thick distorted guitars It starts with the foundation here So I'm pretty sure that these are both playing the same exact notes as sort of doubles of each other. And then this is probably higher. No, this is it's the same pitch. And I'm running those into a STL tone Will Putney as my guitar amp. To get that fat ass guitar tone, I do a compressor before the amp so that it kind of compresses the guitar and makes it more consistent. Yeah, so it kind of levels it out a little bit. And then this is just heavy guitar amp sim that I got from Will Putney. He did a lot of work on a bunch of other just like metalcore classics. So um, that's kind of like the, the main guitar tone that you'll hear throughout the whole song. And then to beef it up in the lows, because this is, these are kind of like mid-high heavy, I got a bass. And that's just a normal, oh, not, not too normal. This isn't, that's a normal sub. 
Um, and then the base. So the base is a re-space. I definitely did some tweaking, at least in this area of things. Have some distortion on it, a multiband compressor, and eight voices, of course. And then classic, just some good old fashioned FL Studio fast distortion. Stereo enhancer, looks like I took out some stereo. Anyways, whoa. Oh yeah. So we got some gothic keys here <laughs> to just really bring it home that we're getting dark. All right, so let's meet the vocals. It wouldn't be a fractal song without some good old fashioned guitar chops. And in the background, I got some clean guitar riffing around here. Uh, not the cleanest tone, but it is what it is. And then this is where it picks up. So let's run that part. As you can see in the sound effects part, I got a whole lot of risers and a whole lot of drops. Yeah, I come from a film background. Uh, so that's all I know is <laughs> risers and drops. So had to add those there, had to do it to them. Oh yeah. Okay, so check this out. A little trick here. Distorted guitars. We got normal here. Yeah, you already know what's about to happen. Got a channel pitch automation. I made these unique probably, and then um, automated that pitch to go up. And I think before I did it, I think I made them 36, yeah. So I made the range 36 and then I automated it so it can go up by like three octaves. Yeah, that's what gives it that really cool, uh, really weird whoop. Let's break it down. Let's start with the 808s here. are harmonized playing the same notes there so no sub going on here but I got I got that grimy bass going so the bass is what really adds that like deep thickness um, otherwise it's a lot of highs The 808s are almost like a synth here. And the bass almost acts like an 808. And then that paired with the guitars. So some left and right guitar chops. So, yeah, ending the 808s on a little kind of mirrors like the, the guitar going to kick into the chorus and then it ends the chorus on a Yeah, let's check out some of the percussion here. Uh. Got that fucking chip tune type kick. That's crazy. That paired with the uh, 808s there. Sidechained the 
kick to the 808s here. Yeah, apparently I said fuck it, sidechain before everything. And then <laughs> I guess saturated after. Got the kick, sidechain to the 808s. Got them sidechained to backing guitars. I'm pretty sure these are the two main distorted guitars. Yeah, I, apparently I just called them backing guitars. And I'm pretty sure that the distorted guitars here are the ones on the outro because those get m -m 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 massive yeah so i got the kick duck in these uh i got the kick duck in the 808s and i got the kick ducking uh the bass sub high square shit fuck it we ball anyways let's check out the vocals i keep it all in Wait for your validation to call me again You'll pull the strings of my heart I'm a marionette and the play never starts Caught in the dark Never knew I was never a part A part, a part, okay So nothing too fancy here Just the classic center main vocal And then, uh harmonies on the left and right i think i got them fully panned yeah i keep it all in wait for your validation to call me again the chain for this main vocal is started off with an auto tune here are the settings always make sure to set your key don't leave it at chromatic got a limiter yep acting as a little bit of a noise gate um some EQ, cut out the lows, notch it a little bit. Sound goodizer, staple. Maximus, doing some Maximus shit. Just, <laughs> just going sicko mode on the mids. I definitely copied this preset uh, and changed it and tweaked it. Same with uh, the multiband compressor. These kind of uh, work together side by side to give it some dummy thick compression. Another sound goodizer. I just kind of picked whatever sounded good. Uh, another EQ going into the sound goodizer. And then a little bit of a delay here. Ping ponging. Uh, it, it's really, really quiet. It's very subtle, but you know, adds a little something. Adds a little uh, je ne sais quoi. Yeah, got that main one there. I keep it all in. Wait for your validation to come. Me again. Wait for your Some good old falsetto. And then this is another background vocal. Wait for your validation to call me again. So the, that's the vocals for the chorus. And then it kicks into the verse here. Okay. Now I lost another part of me. Two colors in the dark, they were hard to see. So for the most part here, it's pretty simple in the beginning. It's just the, it's just that bass, percussion, guitar, and vocals. So here's the guitar. Got some strumming going on there. Always perfectly in tune, you know me. Bass here. It's that slimy boy from earlier. Yeah, percussion here. It's pretty much the exact same percussion without the, the, the perks. So with the percussion throughout the song, it, it has like a, not like a call and response per se, but like a do 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 clap 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 make that ass clap clap uh you know and then slam the kicks and again wouldn't be a fractal song without some scratches uh so i got some scratches going on here Um, 
some galloping kicks. So when it comes to the synths here, yeah, I only got one synth going on and it's uh, this chippy one. So that is, it's just EQ'd. I'm just cutting out the lows there, leaving space for everything else. So that's a vital synth, heavily distorted slab. And I got a velocity tracked. That combined with the bass and all the percussion gives you this. Mmm, some of my favorite sounds. Just these risers just going absolutely insano style. Yeah, run that back. Let's go over the guitars in this part because I get a little, get a little crazy with the guitars. So this is the second part of the verse. So that's some distorted guitars. It looks like I put it in the wrong section, but you know, sometimes it'd be like that. So this this little like uh, chops here, the dun 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 dun, kind of kicks into that like second part of the verse. I like those like little like pre-chorus, pre-verse, just like things that keep you interested and like get you like into it. Keep you in it. Yeah. So the pitch, uh, just some very tight chops, and again, the pitch going up. And then a little bit of volume automation on some stuff just to, you know, stay in control of everything. And yeah, let's talk vocals. On the chorus, I do a mid and sides vocal. And then in the verse, I wanted it to have a different sound, so I went for a simple main vocal and then one double. And then uncertain, like, lyrics, I'd, I'd kind of beef it up with some other... Um, some other background vocals. So let's go through it here. Now I lost another part of me. Two colors in the dark, they were hard to see. So you see there adding some like extra double there. I thought you would be kind of what's been a beehive. Caught in the disguise, you always been. And it's altered, a pain and disorder, a pain and a portrait of paradise. And, and for the record, I do not know how to sing at all. It's probably pretty apparent to some people, but it's probably not apparent to others. So yeah, it's all about just fucking committing and pitch correction and autotune. Anyways, as you can tell, no reverb because that's only for the intro and outro when there is that like, I'm trying to like create that audio space. I see, I thought you would be kind of what's been a beehive caught in the disguise you always been. And uh, with the background vocals, I'm, I'm hitting different notes. Um, harmonies, all that jazz. Yeah. Okay, so that's the background vocals. I called it high shouts because I'm, I'm, I'm literally just like trying to shout and hit some like emo ass notes but yeah and i kind of whispered that just give it that like motionless and white type uh sound um <laughs> that chris motionless type beat yeah yeah let's get into the chorus probably reversed for you but yeah so i'm doing some like call and response with the vocals here i keep it all in i'm 
wait for your validation to call me again. You pull a string. Here I do a good old fashioned, not full gang vocals, but yeah, I like this part. You pull the strings. Hey, hey. How the fuck do you do it again? Yeah, so add that in. Down here, I got some ooze, and I bounced those so they have some effects already on them. All right, let's talk guitars. So it starts pretty normal on the guitars. So it starts at the exact same as the first verse. And then, yeah. So some classic uh, metalcore harmonization, bullet for my Valentine type shit here. Just a, a nice left and right uh, distorted guitar solo. Yeah, the secret's out. <laughs> you can see my new time chops there, so I can like keep it tight. Edited that in new time, but it wasn't far off. I was pretty close with the with the plug. I, I didn't like fabricate a solo. So that's the, the guitar solo, kind of like just adds that, that oomph to the chorus. So you can see here on one of the guitars, I have a normal pitch and then I have it for the last notes here. I have it go down by 12 semitones. So it's like real low. <laughs> yeah. And then guitar chops, yeah. The clean guitars are the exact same. Still no sub in the choruses. It looks like I tried it out and I didn't like it. But let's talk since. I got the classic square shit going on here. Oh, all right. So a little bit yeah, it's scratchy on the ears raw, but when it all comes together, it sounds good. Here we go. Um, yeah, so that adds highness to the second chorus. And then I got some white noise in the background because it felt like a little empty. So I used some white noise that I kind of designed in Vital, uh, created an LFO for the pan. It kind of like sways left and right over the course of like four bars. And then I also automated the level so it kind of has some flowiness to it. it So yeah, it's that sense, nothing crazy. The song is mostly hinges on clean guitars and distorted guitars, and then the like classic hyper poppy progression. Some little, some little pew pews. And then it all together sounds like this. Alright, so before we get into the, the last section of the song, or second to last section, because there's like a last last section, let's talk screams. <laughs> so, as you know, little baby metal boy, um, I have to add in some uncleans. And to like really make it sound cool, I added in Destructor to like distort the shit out of it. Got the slime side chain. So the slime, this is the slime. Yeah. 
Uh, love me a good slime. That is two vital generators here. We got Punchy Reese Bass. I know one of them has like a pitch drop going on. All right. So that sounds like it's kind of on the lower end. All right. So it, the second one isn't really doing much. Kind of filling it in a little bit. Almost white noisy. And then have like a fat dubstep kick there. Uh, uh. I don't even know what kick I used for this, but I know that I uh, distorted it, added some overdrive, EQ'd, and then soft clipped. Just throwing the works at it. And the slimes are sidechained to the vocals here. So check this shit out. Got a little uh, little pitch automation on some vocal chops. And then let's add in the effect automations here. So this is without the slime, so you can actually hear what's going on. So that destructor is adding in like that, that fuzz. And then the vocal chops are kind of... I wanted it to all come to like a culminating like scream in your face and then immediately after it's very soft that classic push and pull let me see if we can see the destructor okay so i never really use destructor i probably should use it more often but uh, here's what i did there What gives this some extra oomph is a reverse kick leading into that dubstep kick. So it's not just like punching you out of nowhere, it kind of draws you in a little bit. The ending part is just kicks and the classic like hats pattern. It's the exact same hats pattern to almost kind of like trick you that like there's a little more, but there's, you know, not, it's not fully resolved, but then kind of resolve it a little more at the end. Uh, yeah. Don't think too hard about it. Anyways, I bring back the distorted keys from the earlier part of the song. Those gothic keys to really just like fully en envelop you in, in sound and distortion. Um, with the slimy slime. And this time I got a bass guitar in here. So that combined with the bass. Yeah, you can see it's like slightly different kind of mm, 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 mm. just as like a slight variation of what you normally hear in the song. So that combined with all of the perkies. And I got a lot of distorted guitars going on here. But let's break down these guitars. This guitar here is supposed to mimic the saw. Just be like a nice Did that practically just hit the note and then slid down. And then this one. So these are both just like textbook doubles going on the same exact uh, channel patch to kind of just like beef it up a little more and kind of fill in each other's quiet parts because the noise will always 
take precedence over the quietness. I probably could have done a simpler thing with like some compression tweaking, but I said fuck it and I just recorded doubles. And then this is probably just a ringing out note. So let's go through uh, vocals in the outro part here. Cause there's a little bit of uh, quirkiness going on down here. There's some side chaining going on to the big like slimy boom. But yeah, let's just go through just straight vocals. A part of the I keep it all in. I'm wait for your validation to solve me within. I knew I couldn't cave in It's your book I took a page from Laid face down on the pavement With you who could have saved me I just need your value All right. In the first part here, it's the classic doing what you normally hear and then the last part of it is, is changed in terms of like the lyrics. I keep it all in Wait for your validation to solve me within. And I solo that without any backing vocals, so it really like it really hits you different because it it doesn't sound like the rest of the parts of the song. Solve me within. It's more like raw. I knew I couldn't cave in. It's your book. And then bring it back around. Um I got some automation on that destructor to kind of like with each slimy hit and kick it feels like it's like destroying the vocals a little bit more good in cave in it's your book i took a page from laid face down on the pavement with you who could have saved me i just need your valid and then everything comes together at the end so let's talk background vocals here i keep it all in and wait for your validation to call me again. So that's just probably ripped straight from the chorus. Nothing too crazy going on there, just like the, the classic stuff. Uh, let's talk main vocal. And it's your book, I took a page from Laid face down on the pavement With you who could have saved me I just need So I almost re-recorded this part Because I this is an actual fuck up I kind of ran out of breath uh, here it's you who could have saved me I just need I'm like struggling to like get through that take And then everything comes together at the end With some one, two, three, four, five different takes. Me, I just need your value. What I like to do with uh, background vocals is kind of give each one a different personality almost. Just so that each one doesn't sound like the main vocal. On the left side, I like to do more chill. And then the right side, I like to do maybe falsetto or like, like a more like calming, you know, type of like silky voice. But yeah, let's see what I did here. So... That's not the main vocal. I just need your value. So just straight normal vocal there. I just need your valid. All right, so some like more like powerful vocal on the right. I just need your valid. A struggling vocal there, just like more raw. I just need your valid. Chill, silky smooth. I just need your valid. And then tried to like give my voice a um, deep performance. Let me see if I actually did fuck with the formants. Yeah, I made this before FL Studio did the formants update. Just did it using that natural formants. So uh, that all comes together with. I just need your value. I got some automation going on down here. So I got some vocal distortion that I use for most of the song except for the like chill parts. I can make it. Yeah, so I don't use distortion there, but I use distortion for it. Just kind of like beef up the rest of the vocals. Got some volume automation there, reverb for the intro, and then some compression automation. So it doesn't sound like super compressed in the intro, and like when it should be chill, I don't want it to sound compressed. Maybe let me just quickly go through like the vocal patches because a lot of people are curious about how you get different vocals to sound in different ways. So vocal number one, I already went through that. Um, it's just auto-tune, a noise gate, um, EQ, compressor, 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 EQ, more compressing, and then a little bit of delay. 
with uh, delay automation there. I don't think I ever used that. I think that was just a, a preset that I made. The left and right channel are pretty much identical. I think I EQ'd the left channel a little lower then the right added a little more lows and then subtracted some lows on the right side because it's higher vocals. It's a very similar, oh God, this is an old patch. I was just using the single band non-graphic compressor there, you know, just doing me de on everything. I Yeah, so the high shout, the reason why it's panned a little bit to the right is because I had this stereo enhancer going on here. So I kind of needed to like balance out that stereo to make it have a little bit of stereo, uh, you know. Vocal 6, definitely a newer patch uh, cuz I have the CLA 76 on it. But yeah, the, these are all just like slight variations of the main. Probably a little bit more compressed in certain ones. EQ'd a little bit differently, like a, a lot of just cutting out the lows and then notching um, some weird frequencies that I didn't like. The distorted, this was for the last distorted scream part where I kind of just needed to like have like a very specific destroyed sound. That's really it. And then the good old master bus. Uh, do, do not use this master bus unless you want it to sound weird and goofy and, and way too loud. But yeah, this is what I used on this song. A lot of the time these days I have like the highs a little higher and I have some different saturation threshold and stuff. And yeah, sure, fuck it. Go stereo on the master. <laughs> I don't usually do this. I usually decide which channel I want to have more stereo than another. But yeah, these are the parameters for my Maximus mastering. Everything is raised up by like three decibels. And then I got a little bit of notching EQ, just taking out some weird uh, parts. And then, oh yeah, yeah. Give it some loudness. I got an L2 Ultra Maximizer to like really maximize that loudness on the master. No shaping. 4.4 decibel threshold. I, I would probably slim it down a little bit, but I said, fuck it. Get me loud. And then a hard limiter at negative 0.7, I guess. I don't know. Don't ask me. I would probably set it to like minus 0.2 or minus 0.1. You know, you can do minus one. No matter what you do, streaming services are going to drop the volume anyway. So what I would say to do is go on to loudnesspenalty.com and then just drop an export in here. So dropped a granola bar with 67. This is validation. So now I can see exactly how many decibels it's going to drop it on on each streaming service and I can play it. And so I can play this and then I can go into like Spotify and turn the volume up all the way and then kind of compare the volume and how it sounds based on which streaming service. But yeah, pretty sweet tool. I use that a lot. That is the mastering bus. I don't really use either of these these days. I, I really just rely on the loudness penalty website. I use a lot of LFOs and like volume automation instead of just relying solely on Ultra Maximizer and just fucking cranking it out the wazoo. But yeah, that is a long ass breakdown of validation. Smash that subscribe button for new music and beats and breakdowns and shit. I got a new song coming out. Play a snippet of it. Boo! <laughs> But yeah, if you like that, smash subscribe. I'll probably do a breakdown of it. And um, yeah, that's it. Peace.